So I'm up here in in Orison. This is the refuge here in Orison, and this is the um, not far from the border between Spain and France, vast country. Beautiful, beautiful scenery here. Very, very beautiful. I'll just see if I can show you um, the valleys. Uh, I have been here before with my son. This is the second time we've come here, we, and we enjoyed it the first time because it cuts the the first day in a bit. And uh, tomorrow it's 17 kilometers with mostly over mountains and a lot of descent. But it's uh, it kind of eases out the trip. But it's very, very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful area up here. Very quiet. All you have is is the sound of crickets at the moment and valley the odd car that comes up here but uh, if you're following along on our on our um, adventure on our Camino adventure um, I just thought I'd kind of uh, bring in a topic here that I wanted to kind of talk about which was a lot of people are wondering well what is this thing called Catholicism or Christianity what is it that you actually believe in and so what is the essence of our faith it's an encounter it's a healing encounter with god if the essence of what god does to us is he transforms us you know that is the essence of our faith it is the essence of what happens in our faith is a transformation of god in our lives what uh, the work that we allow god to do in our lives and so how do we allow God to do this in our life so that we know he's there? Offer ourselves to you. Be that piece of marble offered to God. Lord, sculpture me, change me, mould me, transform me, take my mind, give me your mind. And once you see the transformation that God does in you, you'll see the greatness of his presence in your life. And I suppose it's just this, this small um example i want to give i mean uh, a bite-sized example of how great god is that i want to really really make draw people into you know as catholics we we believe in this great mystery of the eucharist and yesterday we celebrated corpus christi a big feast in our in our church and the eucharist really is encapsulated in a very humble way the presence of our lord the real presence as we say in catholic as we say as catholics the real presence body blood soul and divinity of our lord jesus christ he's also present in holy scriptures uh, in, in a very real way his word is there for us to be encountered to be to be listened to and he transforms us and so that's what christianity is it's a healing transformation it's transformation but it's also healing it also changes us Christ changes us you know in Holy Scripture when he when he talks to us and that's his real voice it's his real world he changes us if we are there to listen and to accept his word to accept his body to accept his presence that's our faith and I would I would challenge people to to take up this I mean when I walk here in the mountains it's it's so real sometimes to be able to meditate in, in, in this great monstrance, this great display of his presence and uh, God's healing presence with me. You know, God's healing presence. It's, it's really important that people discover that and transformed by God's healing presence because God always transforms. He always heals if we allow it, if we give our will to it, you know, offer ourselves to him. Anyway. God bless you from the Camino, Buen, Buen Camino, Ultrea, and uh, we'll keep you updated every day with our small blog on this great adventure. Take care. Bye-bye.